Hey, hello everyone, welcome back to the walkthrough, oh, I forgot to recheck that thing in the tree, yeah, so let's just see here now, alright, so I jumped up on, so there is actually something here, alright, so what is, it's, it's like a block of some sorts, oh, yeah, what is that, that's, and it's, it's, it's an egg block? What? Is it really? Let's try that again. <laughs> I, I guess maybe that's why I confused it for a door, because you know how it stretches upward in that arc? Like, I don't have any eggs right now. That is, is pretty, pretty implied, yes. <laughs> this is an awfully good hiding spot for an egg block, by the way. Alright, so there's that. And, yeah, it's actually just a yellow egg block. Unless it's like a special yellow egg that'll give me some... No. <laughs> I thought maybe it would give me some special... Well, I, I, technically I didn't crack it though, but I thought maybe... Maybe it's like a special egg block that'll give me a flurry of 600 coins or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> so, okay, let's see what I can... Knock it up. There we go. So yeah, I'm just gonna re-grab that, and I'll go hit the tap tap this time, rather than the, the penguins. Uh, okay. Oh, because I hit the ground, it turned into stars. Well, well, it doesn't really seem to be all that. Sp <laughs> At least I don't think it is. I just want to try and destroy it while it's yellow, though. I know I'm focusing a whole lot on just this one mysterious egg block here, but. That's, uh, I don't know, it just seems so well hidden that it might actually be something good. <laughs> it just seems like it could be, I don't know. Alright, let's, let's not mess up with it this time. Nope, just a regular coin. <laughs> Alright, fine, fine. 5-3, we can now begin. <laughs> Danger, icy conditions ahead! This is an icy stage. Be careful. It's slippery and difficult to walk. Grab a red watermelon. You can breathe fire three times. Use it to melt ice or to attack your enemies. Even though we've seen fire watermelons before. Anything in this tree now? <laughs> I'm just going to be obsessively checking all the trees. Save your uh, fire for certain stuff, by the way. Because uh, you, you got a limited amount of fire watermelons and you've got these ice bricks to break. I should say melts with your- oh shoot, well, or <laughs> to melt with your fire, so yeah, oops, why did I do that, why did I think I could thread the needle under the water, I don't know, but yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, let's open up, yeah, well not really open up so much as we just made a platform, but still, but still, um, you know what, I'll, I'll assume that I'm gonna get more fire watermelons. <laughs> Alright, give me the delicious spoils! Yeah! Yeah! Aww, yeah! I'm getting too excited about that since I got star items. Um, I just wanted to see if they missed something in the pit that I could throw an egg at or something. Uh, I'm just gonna kinda ignore the piranha plants because why not? Uh, you need this to get the stuff up here, unless you want to throw a bunch of eggs at them from the water. Which is not comfortable to do whatsoever. <laughs> and I love this watery effect here. Like, you know, it looks... it's got that crayonish... Maybe pencilish type of shimmers, you know, as the whole art style is like, you know, with the whole scribbly style, but it's still... It still all works out into a beautiful water formation. And here's a neat, here's a little tricky one here. Uh, what you gotta do is, or at least I recommend you burn. What? <laughs> I, was say, I recommend you burn both of those so that you can move the platform over. But it looks like I have to do it that way. <laughs> By the way, you'll notice that those penguins did not fall from up where they were. Yeah, they, they never do that unless you burn them out from their icy prison for some reason. It's because when, when they go past the edge of a, a platform, they automatically jump. And then they get themselves trapped by doing that because then they bounce themselves 
back into... Oh, I remember this. That's a fire watermelon. I don't know why to do that just yet. But yeah, they just keep bouncing themselves back into... stuff. I just want to release... There we go. <laughs> I want to get this set up here, base pick up, basically. <laughs> Because uh, I got a star run going here, it's, or it's going to be a star run here, and I don't want to have all that much ire going on. There we go. Especially by the penguins. So I just want to get stuff cleared here, and I, and I absolutely need to have... Oh, 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 yeah! Well. Well. Oh, that's actually a lot of lost progress, but yeah. I wanted to get a few things all cleared out there, but still, still, anyway, it looks like I gotta redo this dealio here, so BRB. I should only get 17 out of that. Okay, let's see if I can do this properly this time. There we go! <laughs> now this makes it tremendously easier to get those. Alright. <laughs> All right, so we're back over here. This is just before that midpoint that I skipped out on because I wanted to clear stuff out, and I still kind of want to do that. It's just that I gotta do it without falling in a pit. <laughs> that, that would be pretty helpful. You know, it just, uh, I don't really care that much about that. <laughs> I just want to clear out the penguins more than anything. Well, I guess maybe the penguins wouldn't be that harmful, oops, harmful to my cause. <laughs> Aha! Okay, let's just move on here. Let's not mess around this time. Oh, 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 oh I missed. I licked it up on my tongue. Okay, so first, this. <laughs> Obviously. Second, that's yeah, let's go! Woo! We need to keep this all the way to the end, and I guess yeah, I didn't really have to worry about the uh, the powers of uh, penguins messing with me. I think that was the only red coin there. I need that. I need that. Okay. <laughs> Just ignore that door. Ignore the door. Okay, there we go. And we're here! <laughs> Where are we though? Who knows? I just want to. Uh, there's a ceiling? What? The, the, the sky! That, that can't be! Okay. <laughs> oh! I thought it was gonna be a key or something like that. I guess not. Alright, going off through the pipe. Uh, hopefully. Hopefully that door isn't all that important, but I'm pretty sure this is just like a bonus area above said where the door would take you to. If I recall correctly, I could be wrong though, we're gonna see. I hope there aren't any red coins in this, because I'm not gonna get them all! <laughs> That's why I'm trying to avoid them, they're just far, far too bouncy. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Uh, I guess I could actually hover and get those if I really wanted to. Uh, uh, hmm, hmm. Yeah, I guess I could, but eh, I'm gonna assume that, that they got the coinages, that there aren't any red ones in there. I, like, I didn't get any red ones during that whole flight through there, so... And yeah, that's where the door takes you to normally. Uh, Alright... So, we're just gonna be examining all the coins. Actually, do I have a magnifying glass? That would be probably pretty useful. <laughs> no, I never have a magnifying glass when I want one, dang it. <laughs> anyway, uh, I think I just use this front one here and ignore Dr. Freeze. Oh boy, just fall off the. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Alrighty. So, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez! So bouncy. Fall off already, come on. I know, there you go, yeah, they do it eventually. And it, otherwise, it's kind of kind of tricky to actually get... Uh, what happened there? It's like a... Oh, it's when it flips flips around. It does kind of makes me jitter. <laughs> I never really noticed that before. I don't think I ever let, stood on it while it was turning around. I always just jumped right from one to the other. Mm, or maybe I just did it... So long ago that I forgot, I don't know. Oh shoot, that's... Oh yeah, that could have been bad. <laughs> Insta-kill death spikes. I think there's something in one of these, actually. Uh... No. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> okay. 
I could have swore there was something in one of them. Maybe I'm thinking of some other level. I'm always confusing stuff. <laughs> no? Okay. Don't fall. Well, I should say don't fall in a spot that you can't hover jump your way to safety. Woo! <laughs> Okay. Yeah, this looks pretty clear. Oh, oh shoot. <laughs> I unplugged my headphones. <laughs> there we go. Caught on my... the edge of the control stick. <laughs> Alright, so, can I... Have, I think this is just like, yeah, it's a dead end until I go through that door. Uh, this is one of the sorts of things that I was kind of... kind of worried about. See, this is a, a ski transformation, and they only happen in houses like this. And uh, you cannot stop yourself from moving forward. <laughs> you just gotta hopefully get the red coins along the way. Do them. Oh no! Do it the best you possibly can. And I, I want to go and die now, please. Thank you. Yeah, that's that's the kind of the issue with the ski is that if you miss something, you pretty much can't go back for it. <laughs> And I did that jump a little bit too high because I wasn't looking far ahead enough. But luckily, there's a nice little middle ring on this particular one. There's a certain extra stage though. That there's no middle ring, and you've got a ski. Ah, oh, I did it too late. <laughs> and there's a certain skiing issue, and yeah, no bit point through the whole level. Oh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be just dandy. <laughs> Alright, here we go. We're off. Woo-hoo-hoo! And woo! No, I did it again! I think that was early that time, though. Ah! <laughs> Luckily, I've built up a bunch more lives after losing 198. <laughs> Just as long as I get all the coins. And that one flower, I should be good for the rest of the level. How do I do it so smoothly on the first run? That just seems cra- Oh, come on! That just seems crazy. I should practice this one, though, with the flower. Yeah, okay, so jump about there for the flower one. And skip on that, yeah. By the way, whenever you hit yourself into a, a rock, uh, you just kind of flip over and you turn into Snowball Yoshi. It is just, uh, and then you lose all control over your jumping movement and stuff like that. It's it's disastrous for a 100% run, so... Yeah! Can I jump over those rocks? <laughs> ah, that's how it's done. <laughs> okay, so jump a little bit there. There we go. Alright, jump there. Get over that. Little... Oh, oh, that was the last red coin! I don't have to worry about it anymore! Yes! And that was the last flower! Yes! <laughs> Alright, so now I just don't have... I just gotta make it and not die. Oh, that was weird. <laughs> not an important coin, of course, but... Flying with the Goonies! Woo! <laughs> I should have jumped for that one coin. <clears throat> Coin your copia! Go! And obviously you don't have to worry about the bombs or anything like that. They're just- Oh jeez! I almost jumped a little too early there. <laughs> it's okay though. We're alright. We're still kicking. And we're gonna make it. We are gonna make it. Yes! We made it! <laughs> alright. Now... Is the end? Oh, we're at 30 stars, right? Yeah, we are. <laughs> Alright, let's try not to lose anything here, but any sort of surprise attacks. And the goal it is, but no bonus stage. <laughs> Which I guess is okay, because I did way too much messing around in that first level. <laughs> Victory! Woo! All over that one mysterious egg block, which is not so much really even that big of a deal, it's just super hard to find. <laughs> and there we go, 5-4 is opened up, and with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part when we hopefully 100% another level. Maybe.